Out Man Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're going back. What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. Going back eight years ago where this truck driver has exposed a greedy corporate trucking mega carrier. Yes, sir. In this clip that we about to watch, man, this this gentleman was tired, super tired. Now, it doesn't go into detail of what happened when he, well, yes, it does. Yes, it does. My fault. You guys will have to go back and see the whole video in its entirety, and I will put the link in the description below. But he picked up a load. Long story short, he picked up a load. Uh, he had like a couple of 10 hours, and, and his sleep deprivation got out of whack. Unfortunately, he made it to a truck stop. He's falling asleep on the road, made it to the truck stop, and decide to call in the night dispatch. This guy in this clip has talked to like three different people that's over here trying to force him to drive the truck fatigued. Have you ever heard something like that before? Drivers, let me know if you heard something like that before, okay? They try to make this man drive fatigue. And he stood, he stood tall and said, look, I'm not safe. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm micro sleeping. I can't do it. Let's figure something out. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Jambi the stuck. Hey, what's up, man? This is uh, Abe, truck 80714. Uh, 80714. What can I do for you? Hey, man, we got a bit of a problem, dude. I'm starting to fall asleep going down the road here. And uh, I don't have much of a window on this load. No, get much sleep today? Uh, no, it, uh, I got a good 10-hour break in yesterday where I slept a whole lot. And I drove 20 miles, and I was told to go on a... 10 hour break again, which I don't sleep very well after uh, being awake for 20 minutes after a full night of sleep, you know? Kind of planners or something screwed me over. So, you be able to stop, get a cup of coffee, walk around the truck, do something? I already did that earlier, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like minutes away from uh, falling asleep behind the wheel. That's not a good thing here. No, sir. I've only been out there for a couple hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, have what, been been awake like 17, so. Well, you have to get a cup of coffee do something. Yeah, well, I, I, man, I can't drive no more tonight. I'm just I'm just not safe to be driving right now. Yeah. And uh, I've got a little issue here, man. I'm, I'm having a hard time staying awake going down the road right now. Okay, I mean, what do we do all day here? Uh, well, I mean, I got a good 10-hour break in last night, and then I was told to... Okay. Well, uh, well, we, I mean, we gotta uh, dude, just get out of the truck and walk around the, walk around the truck, get some fresh air here? Oh, yeah, I did that about an hour ago. I stopped for about 20 well, minutes. Well, let's do it again here. Um, and, and get some coffee, get, get something, get a pop, something like that to get us at least to Old Creek here. And then if we have to, we might have we might have an extra we have a truck in Oak Creek and take it to Woodridge, but we gotta be able to get it to Oak Creek because I don't have any extra trucks in, in Gary or Chicago. All right, well, I mean, I'm like I'm starting to micro sleep going down the road, man. I mean I'm not well, safe to be on the road. Let's get out, get some coffee. Get something to to help wake us up. Walk around the truck a little bit, it'll wake you up. Get yeah. some coffee and then let's and because we don't have a we don't have a choice on this. Hey, this is Eric. Hey, what's going on, bud? Hey, what's happening? Oh, what's going on this morning? Hey, man, I'm having a hard time staying awake going down the road. Uh, well, let's do some. Let's get out and do some jumping jacks in that cold air. That'll put the that'll put their breath right back into you. Yeah, well, okay. I, mean, I, I drank a big uh, Red Bull about an hour yeah, ago. We, yeah, let's let's get out and get some fresh air. That that uh, what is it, about ten degrees outside? Yeah. That'll wake you right up, right? Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, uh, I mean, I was, like, starting a micro-sleep going down the road. Yeah, so let's get out and get some fresh air. I mean, okay? I, I need, I mean, and and, that, that's what, and that, way we can get, that way we can get around the corner and get to uh, Oak Creek, all right? I, this is the first time where I've, I've really had an issue with it. 
Yep. Uh, and, well, uh, I mean, I, I can get you all fired up. I mean, if you want me to make you angry, I can get you woke up that way. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that, but I, I hate to do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I mean, I'm but, not... But I'm, I can, I, 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 but I, I can start screaming at you, and you can start screaming at me. <laughs> if that's what it takes to get you awake, that's what we'll do. <laughs> So, um, if it was like run around the truck, do a couple jumping jacks, get some fresh air. Because I'm gonna tell you that fresh air is gonna get you woke up better than anything else. Fresh air, now you know, glass of water or something. No, better than uh, sleep. That'll do better than your Red Bull. Okay, so let's do that. And let's get to Oak Creek if we can. Well, I mean, can, you, can you help me commit to that? No, I don't know because I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not safe to drive at the moment. Okay, boy, then, then here's the deal. Okay, uh, let me tell you what how this works. Okay, okay. The guarantee goes away. Okay. 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 Service failure occurs, and if there's one more service failure in 90 days, we're done at KMB. Okay. Okay. So, so we're gonna be out cash today. Okay. Understand that full, square, well, and good. That's gonna be a big deal this morning. Okay. All right. Are we gonna lay down for an hour, or what are we gonna do? Yeah, well, I'm definitely gonna get some sleep. No, we, we you know, that's not how we work here, KMB. You laying down for one hour, or what are we gonna do? I'm gonna. Get, get, if we can't lay down and take an eight-hour break, that's not going to work. Right. Well, I mean, I I mean, I mean, understand where you're coming from. You want the no, load delivered. No, no, I'm not coming from anywhere. This is how we work at the company, okay? So, you know, 612, stop him. Yep. Um, we're going to have you take the, we're going to have you relay with 612. He's in Benton Harbor. And we're going to have, uh, you're going to take this load. He's gonna take, you're going to take his load to Morris. He can take your load on to Oak Creek. Okay. Okay. All right. We don't have options this morning. All right. So it's not where I'm coming from. It's what we got to do. Those are the two ways that we end. Well, okay. I mean, I say I'm not so, going to hurt anybody out here on well, the road. Well, you know what? That that, 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 that that you don't need to jump to that. That's dramatic bullshit. I don't need this morning. Right? Okay. And I'm going to tell you that that's all. I'm not going to hurt it. You got you got a guy sitting right there at the same truck stop as you. Right? We're going to have him come get the load from you. All right. Okay, and, and then we're gonna give you a service failure, and the guarantee is going away today. Okay, so it was, when, you, when you wonder where your paycheck went this week, you know it, it came down to where where it went tonight. Are we clear on that? Yes, we are clear. Okay, so when you have drivers, have y'all been intimidated in a situation like this? Have y'all really? really been intimidated by your dispatcher, fleet manager, or anything like that, that tried to force you to take a load in a capacity that you're in right now. You're tired, you're beat, you're fatigued, you haven't had no good sleep, and you're micro-sleeping right now. Down the road, you could be a potential hazard right now. You could be a potential hazard right now. You got these three gentlemen of this mega carrier all saying that you're not important right now. Our load is important. And you got all three of them saying that. Not one of them had asked him really how he feels. Hey, driver, like, how do you feel right now? Do you think you're safe to go down the road, driver? You think you, think you can get this load down to such and such spot? What, what's, your, what's your capacity right now? None of them asked him that. They didn't bother to ask him that. They kept cutting him off every time he tried to tell him, look, I'm not safe to drive on the road. One of the guys even told him that, yo, don't say that. That's drama. Those are the two ways that we end. Well, okay? I mean, I say I'm not so, going to hurt anybody out here on well, the road. You know what? That, that's, that, 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 you don't need to jump to that. That's dramatic bullshit I don't need this morning, right? That's not drama. How is that drama, bro? I'm not safe to drive this truck. I could, I could, I'm a hazard on the road right now. Going across lines. I could be in the ditch. I can crash into a family, my guy. And you saying that's drama. No, that's, that's not drama. That's, that's what it is right now. A lot of guys in this, in this, uh, in this comment session, it's mixed. It's a mixed bag. Some of them said that he shouldn't have picked up the load. Some of them said that he should have called his day dispatcher. Some of them said a lot of a lot of other things. And then you got the other guys that's saying like some real degrading stuff on them, calling them lazy, calling them fat, calling them this. Why all the name callings? Why, why, why y'all doing that? 
We got one guy in the comment section saying, yo, this is his fault why the bids, why they can't make no money. No, it ain't. How is it his fault? You guys don't see that? You guys don't understand that this is a company that's literally forcing or intimidating this guy to take the load over his well-being right now. All three of these guys or four of these guys that's on the conversation with him, they they not good. You know, they 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 not good. They not good. They being they being a real D to this guy. You know what I'm saying? They being a real D to this guy. They don't care about the well-being of their truckers. If they talking if they talking to him and intimidating him to 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 force him to go down the way the way he is, ain't no telling how they talk to their other drivers if they're sick or for whatever reason. You'll be able to stop, get a cup of coffee, walk around the truck, do something. I already did that earlier, man. I'm you have to get a cup of coffee, do something. Uh, well, well, we, I mean, we got to uh, just get out of the truck and walk around the, walk around the truck, get some fresh air here. Oh, well, yeah. Let's do it again here. Um, and, and get some coffee, get, get something, get a pop, something like that to get us out. Get don't. some coffee. Get something to, to help wake us up. Walk around the truck a little bit. It'll wake you up. Get yeah. some coffee and then let's, because we don't have a, we don't have a choice on this. He chose, I understand that he chose the load, but if you're not safe to drive that load, you're just not safe to drive the load. They, what they're doing right now is showing that they, again, don't care about the well-being of the truckers or the pedestrians on the road. Now, being that this video is eight years old, I, I don't know what happened, you know, since then, because the young man of this uh, uh, of that channel haven't been posting videos uh, after after that situation. Did that scare him out of trucking? I I don't know. And a lot of people in the comment session, including myself wanted to know what was the aftermath after uh after him exposing uh exposing the company like that the company that we're talking about which is K and B out of Sioux City Iowa you know i i have talked to plenty of drivers that had their hangups with that company man so what do you guys think what do you guys think? Drivers, 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 truckers. Let me know what do you think of, of what happened in this video. Have you guys been intimidated to do something that was that was that was not safe for you to do? If so, let us know in the comments below. That's gonna do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man Podcast Show.